On the way home we found a rainbow lorikeet on the side of the road. There's a really busy road, um, part of the highway out this way, and it was on the side of the road, not moving, but its feathers were all ruffled up and it was still sitting up. So I'm not sure how it is yet. I haven't had a chance to check him out. We only just walked in the door, got home, and I'm going to unwrap him. I had this blanket in the car, so I wrapped him up so I didn't get bitten, because they have got sharp little beaks and they do like to bite you. Um, we're going to see how he is. Hopefully there's no broken bits. Oh, he's in a bad way. Is he? Yeah, under his wings, busted up. A lot of blood. Blood? Yeah. You poor little thing. <clears throat> okay, so under his right wing, it looks like there's a lot of damage. <laughs> under that side, he looks all right. So there's no damage on that side. And his head looks okay. Yeah, I know. So yeah, he's a bit shaken up. He's a big one. Yeah, well and truly an adult. It's a very mature one. Um, at least there's no head injuries. But there is a fair bit of blood under his right <laughs> wing. Yeah, don't you bite me. So I might put him in a, um, a laundry basket or something, give him some water and let him have a rest and see if he makes it through the night. So that part of his body looks like it's injured. It's probably turned to get away and it's just kicking. His wings actually tucking back, it's not hanging down, so that's a good sign. Give him a drink of water and just keep him warm for the night. Yeah, he needs to he looks like he needs to be wrapped up. They've got beautiful colours. Look at the colours on his chest. That orange and orangey yellow colours on his chest. Yeah. He needs water. Yes, you, yes, you do need water. Yeah, okay, buddy. Want some water? Okay, so I'm just putting some newspaper in the bottom. In case he makes a mess and also that'll help keep him warm. There we go, and I put a little bit of water in there. A little bowl of water. And now it's time for you to go in there, mister. Are you gonna let me pick you up? Are you gonna let me pick you up? Good boy. Good boy. Look at that. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's got to be sore. All right, buddy. There you go. Hey, yo. Look at that sharp beak. Hmm? He's very shaken up because there's no way you can normally pick him up like that. Well, for starters, they'd never let you catch them, but just the fact that I didn't get a lot of bites handling him then means that he's not really doing too good. He's very shaken up. Hopefully, he has a rest tonight and that injury underneath his wing's not too bad, but I'm not going to try and disturb him too much now. I just want him to rest. I won't bother checking it out. We'll have a better look in the morning. 
who didn't make it through the night unfortunately. Can't always have success with every rescue. It would be nice, but it's not always the case. All we can do is try our best. We had water in there for him and kept him warm, but it was pretty late when we picked him up off the road. It was just about to get dark, and I think he'd been on the road for quite a while. So it was a little bit too late to help him out, I think. Sometimes it works, and sadly, sometimes it doesn't. They're a beautiful bird, the rainbow lorikeet. We're lucky enough to have them around here while they fly in big flocks. And they're a real character, the rainbow lorikeets. And a lot of the time, because they drink nectar, if they drink old flowers that are starting to ferment a little bit, they get drunk. And it's not uncommon to see them rolling around the ground, um, all chirping and carrying on, dancing, and just having a party, basically. <laughs> and sometimes they even fly drunk. And I think that's how some of these accidents happen. They're not quite um, sober. <laughs> and they, they tend to run into things. Now it's alright if it's just a building or um, a house or something like that, then they normally recover. But when they run into a car that's moving as fast um, as this one obviously was, because we picked him up on the side of a fairly busy highway, Colette spotted him on the side of the road and we did a, a U-turn, went back and um, picked him up and I think he'd been there for a while and he must have got hit by a car. Birds are a lot harder than um, like mammals and reptiles and such birds seem to be a little bit trickier to rescue so thank you very much for being interested and watching and being part of our journey through life as we endeavor to help as many animals as we can and spread the joy around the world with the simple joys in life take care everyone bye